Yo, what is good guys, and welcome to Kingdom Hearts. That's right, we're finally starting up Kingdom Hearts again. I know I was playing it before, but I figured now that I have better ways to edit it and stuff, and I feel like my commentary has improved slightly since then, that I can now um, edit this a lot better and make it look a whole lot cleaner, you know, everything will look a lot sharper and good stuff like that. So, I figured it'd probably be best for me to restart, and, um, yeah, just go from the very beginning again, so... Yeah, as always guys, with the start of a new series, if you could leave a like, that would be awesome, and show some continued support throughout the series, that would also be amazing. I know there's a lot of Kingdom Hearts fans in my subscriber base, which is cool, because that means we share more than one interest being, like, Pokemon in Kingdom Hearts. Well, we share more than one, which is just Pokemon, but anyway, I didn't mean for that to happen, so, uh, yeah, we are just gonna get into a, uh, new game really quick, and I'm so tempted to play an expert. Uh, do I want to do it? Do I want to play an expert? Um... Uh, no, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm chickening out, guys, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm chickening out of, or chickening out of playing on Expert, but, anyway, I am going to be showing you guys the up opening cutscene, but I am going to be cutting the music out, because there is some sort of, like, strange copyright issues with Square Enix and stuff that I don't want to get myself involved with, or my channel involved with, so it's just best for me to, uh, cut it out altogether, and, um, yeah, this is back when it was Squaresoft, so, not even Square Enix, we're, we're back in the old days of Squaresoft. Anyway, now that awesome cutscene is out of the way, or like out of the way but finished, we can move on to some gameplay, which is great. So, so much to do, so little time. Take your time, don't be afraid. Alright, and we're sitting on a platform of Snow White. The door is still shut. Now step forward. Can you do it? Seems reasonable enough, uh, so yeah, I'll just move forward, and I even did something the game didn't tell me how to do. Jump. So yeah, I'm, I'm ahead of the game in that aspect. Power sleeps within you. If you give it form, it will give you strength. Choose well. Alright, so... This is, uh, pretty much your selection on which route you kind of want to go in terms of your character. So, staff here will give you more MP and magic as you go along, which is kind of expected. It's a magic staff. The shield will give you more defense and HP boosts along the way. And then the sword will give you more strength and attack boosts and whatever like that. So, and like new techniques and whatever. Um, personally, I prefer to pick the sword when I'm playing on just normal. But if I was playing Expert, I would definitely be going for the shield because the defense boosts and the HP boosts are definitely helpful in Expert. But I'm definitely just going to pick the sword for this. Uh, the power of the warrior. Invincible courage. A sword of terrible destruction. Is this the power you seek? Yes, indeed. Your path is set. Now, what would you what would you give up in exchange? I screwed that up. Um... Never give up the shield, that's my motto with Kingdom Hearts, because you, you'd like the HP and defense boosts. So I'm definitely going to go with uh, giving up the staff. The power of the mystic, inner strength, a staff of wonder and ruin. You give up this power? Yes indeed, alright. So, you've chosen the path of the warrior. You've given up the power of the mystic. Is this the form you choose? Yes indeed, alright. So, pretty comfortable with what I've selected. Uh, again, it's all up to you. It's all personal choice. Again, as I said already, I pretty much stress, unless you're playing, like, if you're playing expert, then pick the shield. Because you are gonna need that defense and HP boosts. Believe me, you will need them. Because the game does get pretty difficult. An expert, just imagine how difficult it's gonna be. There is some very hard bosses in this game, I will admit, so... Yeah, not looking forward to fighting some of them, especially... There's like a few I don't really want to fight, but we'll get to them when we get to them, I suppose. Alrighty, so... Got my cool sword. You've gained the power to fight. Alright, so yeah, this is just, as you probably guessed, this is the tutorial area. But it's still pretty cool, because you got this like cool, like, darkness all around you, and you got the, uh... Like the princesses of heart, not heart, well, I kind of spoil what they are. Uh, you got the princesses of uh, Disney on, like, the platforms you're standing on and stuff. Anyway, here's the most common of the enemies you'll be fighting in the game. 
They're known as Heartless, even though I probably should have waited for the game to explain it. It's alright though, it's not a big deal if I spoil some things. The game's been out since 2002, so it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Leave behind enemy, or enemies, leave, they don't leave behind enemies, leave behind little orbs that you can pick up. And items and stuff. And that's great, so I'll probably go into more explanation myself. I can not explain it better than the game behind you. Kind of cut me off mid-sentence game, but, um, yeah. I'll probably explain stuff myself, because I can probably do it a lot, well, not a lot better, but I can explain it easier than the game, I guess. So, let's just take out these guys real quick. It's going to be hard to kind of narrate this. Not narrate it, but, you know, when you're fighting, it's kind of like Pokemon, you know, you're like saying the moves you're going for, so I'm going to be like, attack, attack, attack. But, I'll try and uh, spread my commentary out a little bit, because that's why I watched a few other Kingdom Hearts, like other people playing Kingdom Hearts before I did this, just so I could get it sort of style because it's a lot different than the recording Pokemon so I figured I'd need a sort of different style sort of to narrate with I guess and commentate over so I know that was just personal choice or whatever but yeah I figured I'd probably need some new sort of style when recording this because it's a lot different as I mentioned all right this is the field icon. It pops up whenever there's a special command or there's a special command available. You can examine nearby objects by selecting examine, then pressing X to confirm. Can't open it. Alright, so there's a chest. Might as well go over and open that. And much like the command, it's like the command, you just go down and press, uh, yeah, open. I'm actually glad in like the new games to just replace that with like a reaction or reaction command. You just press triangle, and um, that'll like open up the chest. I know they did that in the 1.5 remix, which is like the HD version of this game. But because I don't have a PS3, I can't actually do that. So that is why we are doing uh the PS2 version of it because I don't have a PS3 to record the HD version. So. We're back in the old days of the PS2. Luckily, my uh, HD PVR still records it. Alright, so uh, that somehow made the door become visible and clear, so let's just uh, see what's going on. And head through this door. Hmm. Hold on. The door won't open just yet. First, tell me more about yourself. Alright, so yeah, you're gonna, this is going to show you some more new stuff. This is going to show you how to go into first person mode. You just press select. Um, I know in Kingdom Hearts 2 they actually made it like you can play in first person if you want to by pressing select and actually run around. In this game, you can only look around, so. Yeah. Alright, so let's talk to young Titus from Final Fantasy X. What are you afraid of? I am honestly being indecisive. Is uh, something I'm pretty afraid of. Young Waka, uh, what do you want out of life? I guess to be strong is always something good. I mean, being indecisive and then being strong with my decisions, that's something I'd want. Or not to be indecisive and be strong with my decisions. And what is most important to me? I guess friendship. We're going with all the corny answers, but I guess they're the, uh, the accurate ones for me. You're afraid of being indecisive. You want to be strong. You want friendship. Your adventure begins in the dead of night. Your road won't be easy, but a rising sun awaits you. Or oh, awaits your journey's end. Yeah, that sounds good. I don't know if that like influences anything in the game. I I need to look that up. I think it may. If someone knows if that influences anything in the game, then be sure to let me know because I've always found that something like found that interesting that they get you to answer those questions and you always get like a different response. Sometimes like your journey begins at dawn or something like that. So yeah, I'll have to like check that out. Alright, so let's go over to this light here. And yeah, you can open up this start menu whenever. And we have got more enemies spawning right about now. So, let's try and uh, take these pretty easy things out, honestly. They're not all that difficult. It only takes like three hits to knock them out, so. Soon in the game, we'll be one hit KOing them, which is good. And uh, yeah, the sooner for that, the better. Well, I'm just getting pummeled here. On my face. Ah, no, I keep missing. <laughs> that's not a good start at all. Wow, I'm getting beaten around here by shadows. That's. Oh man, if that's gonna be the standard for the uh, 
for the series, maybe I should just quit right now. <laughs> I won't, but I mean, yeah, that was pretty poor. Luckily, we recovered and ended up taking them out. I would have been ashamed. I would have shame upon my family if I lost that fight. I, I know I wouldn't have, but I mean, like, I wouldn't have lost it, but if I did, then I, I'd probably get kicked out of my house for being so garbage. Alright. So. Hmm. Just a random staircase of, like, glass. It always reminds me of, like, glass you see in, like, church windows and stuff. But yeah, I never, like, yeah, you just, this just reminds me that it's like you're running on those. It's sort of odd, but whatever. So let's head up to this new platform, and who is the Disney princess on this one? It's Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Alright. She's red hair. She went to have brown hair. The closer you get to the light, the greater your shadow becomes. But don't be afraid. And don't forget. Don't forget what? <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, this is the first boss in the game. This is Darkseid. And he is an honestly very easy boss. All you need to do is keep hitting his hand. Or his head or whatever whenever he bends down. A funny story about this boss, which is probably funny to me but not to you guys. Uh, whenever I was playing this, like as I mentioned, I got this on Christmas Day 2002. I was playing it with my cousin. He was like, uh, I can't remember. He was about five at the time, I think. So, whenever he heard, when he saw that thing come out of the ground and he saw, I like heard the creepy music, he turned my PlayStation off. Because he was afraid. He just like literally went over and flipped the switch, it turned it off. And um yeah, I played this little part a little bit earlier on, or later on in the day, which is fine, I didn't remind we ended up playing like I think got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets that day too. So we ended up playing that after, but I don't know, he just got afraid of it and he's then he ended up getting the game himself like a few years later for his birthday or something and it didn't scare him. But <laughs> it didn't scare him then, but yeah, it's just a sort of story. Anyway, there we go. Defeat the dark side pretty easy. Gotta finish it with a jump. Oh no, I, there we go. Yeah, I got the jump off. Sweet. Oh, there goes the web. There goes the sword. We're getting punched to death. Don't just sit there. I know there's like no space to run, but don't just sit there. But don't be afraid. You hold the mightiest weapon of all. So don't forget. You are the one who will open the door. <laughs> 